Hola clase. I'm going to give a little bit of an introduction about what we're doing with chats. Uh, in week two, we're going to form groups for chats. And then in week three is when you're going to actually begin doing your chats. The idea behind doing the chats is that in a regular face-to-face -face class, you're in class for a free credit hour class, an hour and 15 minutes, twice a week. And you've got part of that time that the professor is presenting the material, but part of the class, a substantial part, hopefully, uh, the students are practicing together. So in order to approximate that idea, we're going to hold weekly half-hour chats. Um, because it's an online class, it has to be, you know, flexible. So you're going to set up a meeting time with others that have a similar schedule. And then once you decide on it, that's when you're going to have your meeting. So you could say, we're going to have our weekly chat meeting for 30 minutes on Thursday nights from 8.30 to 9 o'clock. So that's something that, that you can set up. Um, there is information, the same information that I'm saying is under the discussions, because in the discussion is where you're going to find your, your partner. You're going to form groups of four to five people who have a similar schedule and can meet for their weekly 30-minute chat. Once that you've established your group, one of the students needs to be the group leader. This is not a huge amount of work. All it means is that it's that person, the group leader, is going to send me first, they're going to send me an email with a list of the people who are going to be in the group because that way I'm not getting five people sending me the same information. I just get it one time. You're also going to send me your group name. So you're going to create a group name. It can be funny. It can be serious, whatever, goofy. So send me a group name, people in your group, your Zoom meeting room URL, and the day and the time that you're going to meet weekly. All this information, like I said, is also under discussions. So you can check it off as you're going through it. Um, this is due to me by next Sunday, not this coming Sunday, but the following Sunday. Uh, and the, again, the date is in, the, in discussions. Once, uh, uh, when you do your meetings, you're also going to be recording the meetings. My goal is to come around and visit two to three meetings a week, but then I'm also probably going to view some meetings. I'm not going to see every single meeting every week because with groups of four to five people, we're going to have at least six groups. Um, but I want to come around to the different groups every couple of weeks, see your group so that I can answer any questions, clarify things, help you out with the activities. You're not going into these activities totally blind. You're not, you don't have to come up with your content for 30 minutes and just talk to each other. I'll always have something, some kind of a goal that you're going to have for your, for your meeting. Um, and it will always be decided by the Friday before. So my goal is to always post your activities on the Friday before the week. That way, if it's convenient for you to do activities on the, that coming weekend, you can certainly do that. So part of what you're going to do is probably going to be some questions that deal with the grammar or the vocabulary of that week. But then a substantial part of it is going to be the, the partner activities that are part of the book. So whenever you're doing the book activities and you see there are some activities that, that show partners, those are the kind of activities. And then within your groups, you can decide, okay, who's going to do these? How are we going to run this? You know, who's going to ask the questions to whom? Um, so, yeah. So also under the discussion, I've given you some times that I would like you to stick in between. I try to come up with a lot of flexibility in a lot of different times, but there are certain times when I'm teaching or uh, where I know I'm going to be commuting, that I would never, ever be able to come and visit your group. And I, I certainly need to come and visit your group at some point, because even if I'm seeing the video of your group, I'm not able to participate. I'm not able to answer any questions. So I, I really want to be a, a, a part of that and to be able to help out. So I've got my availability on there. So you can take a look at that. So anyway, let's take a look. At, and let me show you how the group leader is going to end up setting your group. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Um, okay, this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the, the Zoom screen over here. You can go back to a meeting if you're already in a meeting. You can schedule a meeting, and that's where you're going to go. So whoever is the group leader, you need to set up a Zoom account. Everybody needs to set up a Zoom account, and there are directions for that under the week two modules. You have to have a Zoom account set up anyway, and they're free, to come and see me during my office hours. So if you click on the button for my office hours, it'll immediately prompt you to put in your, your Zoom information or to get an account if you don't already have one. So anyway, once you have your Zoom account, the leader of the group is going to schedule, okay? you The topic, you can make up your own 
topic right now it just automatically defaults to Amy Bonke's Zoom meeting, but you can name it what your group is. So you can change it to what your group name is when it's going to start. So when the very first meeting is going to start, the time that it starts, that it's going to last 30 minutes. So it gives you a chance, you know, an opportunity to change that to 30 minutes. It is a reoccurring meeting. Okay. Uh, video. Yes, you want video when you join. Just leave that both. One of the things, a couple of things that you want to uh, check off, require a meeting password, you don't really want to do that. Each of the participants, as long as they have the link or have the ID, that's good enough to get in. It's not like we're having top secret discussions or anything. You want to enable join before the host so that if the host is running a couple minutes late, everybody else can still join and begin the activities and aren't held up waiting on, on the host. And you also want a to use a personal meeting ID, which is this number here. You're gonna give me this number, but also it's gonna give you a URL, and I want that as well. And that way I can come and join the meeting as well. But everybody in the group and I am gonna need this URL, or I mean this meeting ID and the URL. You can have it sent to your personal calendar if you want, or if not, just, just click other calendars and don't worry about it, and then, and then you're gonna end up scheduling it. And then once you schedule it, it gives you this right here, this URL for your for your Zoom chat room. I'm also going to be setting up groups within Canvas. And in those groups, you can share information in the group. So once you set up, once I know who is in your group, I can add everybody to that group in Canvas. And that's a place where you can share this URL with me, with the other members of the group. Okay, so um, once you do a meeting, you're gonna, and it gives you an option at the bottom of the screen to, on your Zoom screen, to record it. When you're done recording and you leave the meeting, it automatically converts it. And so, let me see if I can. Oh, do a new share. Let's go ahead and look at this. So it saves it as in your documents. So it, it automatically saves it to your PC, to your documents, and it creates a Zoom file and will save it in there. So if I open up this, it's showing an audio. Sometimes it shows a couple files. Sometimes it shows a play only or an audio, and then it just gives it a, a generic Zoom name. So what you're gonna do first after it's converted, after it's converted it into a file, is the group leader who has recorded it is going to rename the file. So rename it whatever, uh, something like week three, and then give, put your group's name in there. Okay, so group three and your group three, um, Los Amigos, okay? And then that's gonna be the name. Once you get done with that and you, you're gonna upload it, and so let's see. All right, so now we're gonna look here. So we're gonna to come to our Canvas page. Kaltura Media Gallery is where you're gonna end up uploading it. So you're gonna go there, it opens it up, and you're gonna add media. It seems to be the easiest place that, that we've been able to find to, to put it up, and it's pretty quick. So you're just gonna add a new media upload, and then you can leave it right there. I'll probably look at it, you know, like I said, I'm not going to see every single person's every week. Some people I'm going to, some groups I'm going to come around and visit. Other groups I'm going to view part of your video, something like that. And then I'll probably wipe them out after every week so that we don't end up with a whole bunch of uh, media in here and tons of videos. So anyway, that's where you can put it at the end of the week. So make sure that you check out the directions in week two for your um, setting your groups. You know, start off in the discussion and figure out put your availability, and then other people can respond if they have the same availability. So get started on that. You have a week to, uh, to get that done. So thank you. Talk to you later.